Hey YouTube, Alien2007, or 49655 here, excuse me. Um, you know it's been a while since I've made an installment, in fact I just did a couple of, I just uploaded a couple of episodes that I filmed weeks ago, yesterday, so. But, um, when we left off I was, uh, had that one drill ship, uh, Change things up a little bit. I told you I might be farther along. Let me adjust the tripod real quick here. Oops. That's not quite what I was going for. Adjusting the camera here. My voice sounds a little weird. It's because I'm coming down, uh, coming off of a cold. Um, up until recently, I had a severe case of laryngitis. So that would explain why I haven't been filming in the last couple of days. Just now got my voice back. I mean, I could have done some silent gameplay for you, but for those of you who, the few of you that like the sound of my voice. <laughs> I accommodated. Um, my voice isn't all that spectacular. But some people can't read, so I can't exactly... Um, I can't exactly depend on subtitles. So... And as before, I'm limited to 15 minutes per upload, so I'm going to be doing this once again in 15-minute snippets. Uh, of course, if this game ever loads up... A couple more mods to this. I've got uh, endless cargo ships. So you're going to see a few uh, ships that aren't stock. Um, in fact, I just cut two of them up. Um, surprisingly enough, a lot of these cargo ships are small ship variety. They don't give you a whole lot of parts when you pull them apart. But I've got a ha mining hauler Mark III. A refinery support vessel. Um, got uh, experimental tra fast transport. It's a small ship with large, small ship large uh, containers. And this thing is still loading. <laughs> Here we go. And when I left the game, the last time I played, I was re taking apart some things. Let's see how. Now that was going to work out. Uh, yeah, it's still working on it. Remember my little survival ship? Yeah, it's still working on it. I've still got some steel plates off of here that you can't see off frame. And we got some. There, we got some of these too. So, and that's what's left of a massive ship that I just got done cutting apart with. You can see that's not that's one of the non-typical spawn ships, and it just despawned. Remember that little survival ship I had? I changed it up. I've also got some custom roids here too, so uh, the hope base that we originally had here no longer exists. I instead, I replaced it with that big bad boy right there. <laughs> so, and I've got a this is this asteroid field marker. 
is just to let me know where the asteroid field is in case I decide to pursue a cargo ship in the Grindall. I don't know if you can see the 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 beacon text. Hey, go up. There we go. I don't know if you can see the beacon text. But this ship is called the Grindall. There we go. You might be able to see it here. Yeah, that looks, that's looking pretty small. Uh, like I said, this camera ain't the best. Uh, I, deci I uh, decided to do ship capturing rather than mining. I mean, as soon as I had the grind all the head done, I see, I put the roof back on it. So that I could have a pl place to stand to put that. And down here, where the open concept used to be, got a big little tube going right into my refinery. I put my uh, catwalks back in place. You can see my cargo container set up that I had set up last time. I think I had set up. This thing now has two reactors, two small cargo containers, and two big ones. Oh, and I and I relocated the, gy the gyro. <laughs> so I just don't I don't like uh, non-symmetry to my vessels, but some of the pieces dictate that you have to do it that way. So and I suppose I could just gab at you while we're waiting for another ship to spawn, but I think it's time to start building. So, actually, we need to, to halt that, that assembler. There's no gravity on this ship. decision here to make. I do eventually plan to turn environmental hostility on. So I either got to make a free floating platform that's shielded by this big boy right here, or I can start building on the dark side of it. Out of danger of getting hit. But what I'll need, definitely need, is a hangar for the grind all. So I might as well, well I actually don't need a hangar, I just need a landing pad or a safe place to park it. So, let's go into the G menu here. New station block. I think I'm going to go ahead and build off the back of this roid. Yeah, there's a little lag going on here. Um, even in single player, the game seems to lag a little bit. Um, so. And uh, once I get up to my mark, I would, I'll just switch to another video. These will all be in a playlist. The Let's Play Space Engineers playlist. Uh, we got all of Season 1, such as it was, in there already, and this would be Episode 7 of Season 2. So... I wish I had multiple players so that I could do things like what Sage and Pazu and Aaron would do. Um, I mean, we got owners of three different channels playing a joint survival. Now the bad part about this being on the dark side of an asteroid is solar panels are impractical. Um, and even if even if I did make a mast that would peek up above the asteroid, it'd probably be taken out by, by meteors. 
Because like I said, I do eventually plan to turn those on to add a little extra challenge to this. Since I'm playing single player, I've got no, no other players to go up against. And since the devs haven't put NPCs in here yet, I mean, they got NPC ships, but I need some NPC crews, uh, AI-based space pirates and such. Something that would make single player a little more fun than just building. Uh, we got ourselves a military scout, Mark 1. And if I remember correctly, that one is pretty well armed. And I'm nowhere near ready to go after those yet. So I've been mainly going after civilian ships um, and mining ships. Although the mining ships can be challenging in their own right. So, especially the mining haulers. The only one I've been able to get consistently without firing a single shot are the mining carriages. And there is another version of the mining carriage in this mod, I just haven't seen it yet. We do have the default uh, AI ships spawning here too. And it looks like my deadline for this video is coming up pretty quick. So let me finish framing in this platform and then I'll start start a new video file. I don't know how big this platform is going to be. I don't want any meteors blowing by and clipping the edges of it. This will be the main base. I like large platforms. I've, God knows I've got enough steel to, to fill it all in. in case Aaron, Sage, or Tazu come on and actually run across my channel. I want to give them props because they're the ones that gave me the idea to do this. Uh, yeah, non, not voluntarily, mind you, but they still uh, uh, provided the inspiration to do a Let's Play. Let's go back up to the ship. I do not have a spawning bay, by the way, either, so... I had to take it out to put the tube in, the tube for this grind head in. But I do have a way to recharge. I don't know why the assembler is still making noise, despite me stopping what it was doing. I guess that's a glitch the devs haven't fixed yet. This is where I'll park the grind off. Now, the asteroid field beacon relies entirely on solar power, so if I turn the environmental hostility up, <laughs> guess what's going to get ready to go first? <laughs> but hopefully by then I'll have the beacon for this base up and I won't need that asteroid field beacon. In fact, I might even recycle it recycle the beacon itself and put it on my little base platform here. Now we got a big old truck revving in the background. Don't worry, that's not in the game. <laughs> I live right by a major thoroughfare, so you hear every car rolling by. And I do live in the south, so you're going to hear a lot of loud engines. Well, I'm going to have to cut it off here and start the new file. Uh, by my perception, it'll be see you in a few seconds, but it might be a few hours to a few days for you. So bear with me. Talk to you then.